Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Weightlifting AI Week t 3, Day 2, where I'm going to be talking a little bit about the workout rather quickly and then touch upon some more JTS um, Weightlifting AI comparison. So I think in this video I'll talk about the negatives of the JTS programming itself um, and then talk about some of the positives with Weightlifting AI if I have time with that. So with this workout it started out with some lighter cleaning jerks. It got up to 111 kilos, nothing too special. Um, spectacular crazy there just two singles at 111 kilos supposed to be 109 but I bumped them up to 111 just because the loading was a little bit easier the second thing that the um, program had for today were a bunch of front squat triples which I felt good for and went up to I believe is 171 kilos but you'll be able to see the weight later in the video of the sets that I did so I was really happy with that um, to get that triple then had clean pulls at 180 kilos which is the heaviest pulls that I've had, and I even had to do a warm-up set prior to it, which meant that they were a bit heavier, so that's good. Uh, and then push presses, which were supposed to be like 98 or 98 kilos, and I just went up to 102 just because it was just triples, and 102 is easier to load when I'm in my shed. It's easier just to throw on a yellow than to just try to get all precise with the, the 98 kilos, plus it, you know, it's more weight. More weight's good. But those all went well, so the workout itself went really well. I was very happy with how the front squats went in particular. But to jump back on the topic of the JTS versus the, the weightlifting AI programming, the program would start out fine itself. So you get like the, the Excel sheet, and I talked about in the last video kind of like the difficulties of using the Excel sheets and the Google sheets and all of that, whatnot. But the actual program itself wasn't necessarily bad in how it started. If you did your warm-up sets, which it would program in your warm-up sets for you for the JTS stuff, you would, but if you felt great, good, normal, bad, or terrible. It was like, there's five of them. And it wouldn't really change the program that much, and it was based on your warm-ups, what the program would give you for that day. So it didn't undulate during the sets whatsoever. If you felt bad, you might have to do a 5x2 instead of a 5x3. Um, it may change the sets a little bit, but it was a lot of straight sets of a lot of volume, a lot of repetitions of snatch, which tore up my hands and felt terrible. <laughs> and I felt like I got slower, honestly, during that program. I at one point hit a PR snatch, I think it was like 123 kilos randomly during the program, but um, I don't really know how, and that was the only PR I hit in the snatch, and I hit one in the clean and jerk right at like the first week of the program, so it had nothing to do with JTS itself, and the rest of it I didn't really hit any PRs during it at all, and was just getting beat up from the volume, just the reps, and got slower and worse at uh, the lifts, not really technically, just speed wise, it just felt like I was just slow. Um, which I'm already slow anyway, so imagine <laughs> imagine moving even slower. Um, but like each day, like the sets in the the program didn't really change during it, and there wasn't really a way to like tell the program that like this set felt difficult, and then if you do another set, that that set felt good. It would say you know you do 210 pounds or 90 kilos or whatever for your four sets of three, and you have to enter that in and. I remember asking like what happens if you miss a rep and it's like well you just put how many you actually you have to like type it into the the, the excel sheet what you have to do and you know that's just kind of it's just kind of a crap system what's nice with the weightlifting ai you know even if it's giving me reps and stuff to do it might start at 100 kilos and i would i felt great it might add some weight but if i put that i miss or i give it the three reds or maybe one red and two whites it might keep the weight the same or it might lower it. it undulates during the sets that you have to do so i may have to do like the five sets to two like i would have to do in the jts stuff that part doesn't change but the undulation during the sets changed which to me is much more much more of a motivational thing if i'm able to say all right if i do this set well if i move these sets fast it's been helping tremendously with with squatting if i like if i make this easy i can say that it was easy and then i can add more weight because um, i'm a i'm a masochist and i want to just break myself in half apparently but if you move well you get rewarded by doing more weight and if you don't move well or you don't or you you know you're sore or you miss weight then you can put that same thing as well. If you don't feel good, you it, it can undulate during the sets. And it does kind of really back down when I've noticed that if you just put the reds, it will really drop things off, which is really good. Um, if I ever have a day where like something hurts and I really can't do the sets. So I do really like that. Um, and I'm really excited for how the, the AI will continue to improve. I think the, the biggest thing that I want to see them do is the competition date, being able to pick that specific date for the program to um, program you to 
that's kind of the big thing that I'm waiting for because I like how the programming is going so far. I just want to be able to pick that specific date because um, I think, at least for me personally, it would, would motivate me to do more competitions if I'm able to say, all right, I have this competition, I get to it, and then as soon as I have that competition date, I pick the next date that I want to do, and the program just goes right to that. Um, so I assume that's going to be in there eventually. Um, I think, uh, for me, that's kind of the biggest thing that I'm waiting for. Um, but I just really like the way that the AI, how it just changes during it, because I'm, I'm making my squats go better. I mean, <laughs> I did a 180 kilos front squat double, and I'm pretty sure that's the best double I've ever had in the front squat. And I've squatted heavy like the three times this week and then had a heavy clean jerk yesterday. Like I'm, I'm doing very heavy stuff, but I think the motivation factor is definitely higher than it was with the, um, the juggernaut stuff. And like during the program, it changing definitely helps. With the JTS, you have to wait to get to your next block to like see if your weights are changing or different things like that and a lot of it was just very repetitive with the jts stuff and this stuff feels like it's a lot different and i don't know i like i just feel better during it even though like i'm sore and stuff i feel like i'm i'm i actually feel like i'm getting stronger and it's not just my feeling of it like it feels like my my squats are already getting better which is very odd because like they usually take a while to to increase and especially with like reps in the front squat like those are never something that I've been very good at or haven't progressed at very easily and those have just you know flown up with this so far so hopefully you know as the programming goes on that like obviously the squats and stuff go up but it just kind of correlates to all the lifts and you know I have no doubt that if my front squat goes up that's gonna make everything kind of go up if my back squats are going well everything's gonna get better because that's always been how things are but uh i think that's good enough for the two comparisons um i can always touch upon more stuff if there's more questions about specific things but i think that's good enough for this topic and then in the next video just talk about uh normal training stuff and uh i don't know just how we're just going on in that training but that's it for now i'll talk to you all in the next video and i do appreciate it, it seems like i'm getting some more subscribers and some more views per video and i really do appreciate that and it's uh that's also a big motivational thing for me to continue uh, to one, make these videos, but just to be consistent with it, because I know with a lot of the content I like, the consistency of having that routine of um, content that I look at is something that I really enjoy. So hopefully, if you do enjoy these videos, you appreciate the uh, my, my attempts at being consistent with them. But that's it for now. Talk to you all in the next video, and have a great one. Peace.